Over here, over here, over here. Boom. This is Brent. You're watching Steam Culture. Well, this week I'm out of town celebrating my anniversary. I am on Tabletop Lake, and I wish I could shoot every Steam Culture from here. You need to come see Tabletop Lake in Branson if you've never been. So I'm going to reboot an episode that we did a while back on the first motorized most motorcycle is actually steam powered. It was called a Velocipede. I think you're going to enjoy the episode. I'll be back in the office next week. Something new for you. Until then, enjoy the episode. Okay, so our story starts in the late 1860s with a guy named Sylvester Roper. Now he looked at the bicycles of the day, which were called Velocipedes. You see the, the goofy big front tire and the, the small back tire. Eventually they made both tires the same size. And he said, hey, now that these things are safe, why don't I hang a boiler on it and make it self-propelled? So he was a gunsmith actually and an inventor. So he got this idea to hang 150 PSI charcoal fired boiler off the frame of the bike. And then he attached all the, you know, all the cams and pistons and all the other stuff that he needs, as you can see here in this image. It's kind of a neat setup. Now, here's something else that's really neat, that he invented the throttle system that motorcycles have today. So when you rotate the, you know, the hand grip one way, it would open up the steam throttle, and when you rotate it another way, it would actually engage the brake. So, I mean, this guy is heroic and crazy and a genius. Who else would straddle a 150 PSI boiler beneath their legs and then head on down the road? So somebody had to go first, glad it was him. I got another interesting tidbit for you here about Sylvester Roper. So he's doing a time trial on his bike. He's trying to achieve his top speed, which was around 40 miles an hour. So he's at a, an actual bike track running around there and he has a massive heart attack and he lays the bike down and he dies. Now urban legend said that he had the presence of mind to close the steam throttle valve for safety. Now, only a boiler guy would do that. So we hail Sylvester Roper for his quick thinking. And thanks for joining me this week on Steam Culture. I hope you enjoyed the episode, Sylvester Roper and the first steam powered, well, the first powered motorcycle, also known as the Moto Cycle. Now come join us on social media, find us. We got great content, we're everywhere out there. I'll see you next week.